Howdy y'all, it's Miss Kosh. I just re-watched the graphing the trig parent function video that I created a couple years ago um, to, to see if there was anything I needed to supplement with this year. Um, and one key concept that I found lacking in that video, so hopefully you've already watched that one because I think you should watch that one first and then come here. Um, so if you haven't, hit pause, go watch the other, and then come back. Um, but the key concept that I thought was missing was the fact that these are um, uh, periodic functions. Okay, and so what that means is that we've got something here that repeats. So like with the sine curve, this is one period of the function, and it repeats over and over and over and over and over, sorry, again, okay? Um, and so that's, when you have that sort of a repeating pattern, and it does the same thing over and over again, that's a periodic function. And so now the question is, why is it periodic? And I don't think my other video did as good of a job explaining that. Um, and what happens is, if you, uh, the eraser is not going to draw, um, if you're on the unit circle, keep in mind we already talked about what it means to be a co-terminal angle. Um, let's say we're right here, and this is, this is pi over 3, and this is, would also be, well, if I, so here is pi over 3, I can also say, well, if I go all the way around and then get there, I've added 2 pi to that, so that's 7 pi over 3. Or I can say that I've gone in the negative direction, and so that would be a negative 5 pi over 3. And all of these show up in our lovely little graph over here. Okay, so um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's, what color did I use? Uh, the first one I used green. So we could say that pi over 3 was the first time we got to that area, that spot. So that's about here. Well, then we also said, well, it was negative uh, no, let's do pink. In pink, we have, we went 7 pi over 3, and so that's here, right? Because this would be, um, up here's this spot right here. Oh, that was a big dot. Okay, that, I want the spot on the x-axis, that's 2 pi. So we've gone a little bit beyond 2 pi. So uh, my precision's a little off, but hopefully this makes sense to you. The other thing is that we could have done the purple and gone in a negative direction. That's a negative coterminal. And so that is going to be somewhere over here on my graph. Okay, and so this is why, because we can do as many rotations around the unit circle as we want, our graph does this little wavy thing forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, another thing, um, and that is called a periodic function. Okay, um, and all six of these are periodic functions. So sine, cosine, uh, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Now, I know in my video I didn't work out... Um, secant but my answer i'll post the answer key and i don't know that this is i think i think you're fine it, it's it's secant secant is cosecant shifted over a tiny bit and then you're good to go um let me show you where did it go i found this um and i'll post a link to this so what this is doing is this is showing us how um this is this is kind of an electronic version of my um, spaghetti activity. So if I take this right here, I can trace this around. Oh, I think I'm touching the wrong thing. Um, I can trace that around the unit circle, and there is one period as it goes around the unit circle one time. So I thought this was kind of cool. See how the the y value on the unit circle? That's um, well, you can't see where I'm pointing now, can you? Okay, sorry. That's this, this y value right here, and this y value match exactly. Okay, so as we change that um, theta, um, the, the theta becomes the x value, and the, the y value is the y value from the unit circle. The, um, they graphed this in terms of degrees. I pretty much never graph in terms of degrees. You can, but it's a lot easier to work in, in radians. Um, there's also this one with, um, with cosine. So same idea. Notice I'm up here. I'm able to drag the, the angle. And now it's the x value. So this would have been your piece of spaghetti that we put right here um, from the other video. And as this changes, do, 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 do we make that curve. And so that is one period of cosine's curve. Um, let's see what happens with this one. Um, tangent... 
is Rise of a Run. So um, what that one is doing, and there's an actual piece. Let's see. Well, okay. So if you think about it, here's the, the slope of this initial line at zero is zero. And then we start when we get to 45 degrees. Um, where is 45 degrees? Well, not there. Okay. Okay, I'm having problems. Anyway, so the slope is getting, it's going to go, um, ah, okay, I'm having all sorts of trouble. But isn't that cool when you graph all those out? Um, so basically, it's approaching this undefined, uh, well, you, so notice it gets steeper and steeper and steeper, and it's getting closer. As you get closer and closer, um, right in here to, um, to an undefined slope, that, that slope is steeper and steeper, that value is bigger and bigger, and so it shoots off, shoots off to positive infinity. So um, that was kind of a neat, and there's, there's actually two periods of tangent graphed right here, because the, the tangent of, I lied, the period of tangent, you, it's going to do everything it needs to do from 0 to pi, and then it's just repeating again from pi to 2 pi, and, and so notice that a period would be this positive part and then this negative part. I typically like to think of it as this and then come start here from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, but there's no reason that you can't say from 0 to pi is one period of this function. So that was a little chaotic. I will post a link. Oh, is this all of them? I don't know what this does. Oh, well, I guess, okay, you can, oh, interesting. So they have found a way to make, I don't know what I'm supposed to drag, though. Oh, this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, wow. Oh, and here it shows how it's a little bit more periodic. Oh, clever. Okay, I'll post a link to this particular site so that you can go and try this for yourself. Anyway, good luck, go practice. You have to know these functions, so go make sure that you understand what's happening.